as you can see, I'm going to be demonstrating how I create this Halloween witch makeup look. So if you want to learn how to create this witch makeup look, then keep on watching. So first of all, we're going to have to prime our face. So today I'm going to be using the New Look Colour Corrector, and this is in the shade green, just because my face is kind of looking a little bit red at the moment. So this is just going to neutralise that a little bit and just really tone that redness down. So next up is foundation. We've just primed our face, so we're all set to go. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the PS Pro Longwear Mineralized Foundation from Primark, and this is in the shade Porcelain, purely because this is the lightest colour I actually have in my foundation range. So I'm just going to be applying this from my eyes down to my chin. And then I'm going to be taking my overall brush just to blend all of that in. So now on to the top half of our face. So for this, I'm going to be using the Snazaru Clown White Face Paint. And I'm going to apply this to my face using this foundation brush again, which I've used previously. Um, basically, all I've done is dip this into some water just to change the consistency so it's a little bit more runnier and easier to apply. So I'm just going to be taking this from my forehead down to the tops of my eyebrows and then just blending it down onto the middle half of my face. I'm going to take this over my brow just to cover them up so I can create new brows. So the next step we're going to take from this is we're going to take a beauty blender and just blend that down to the middle part of our face. We're going to create a slight contour here. So now I'm going to add more shadow in and contour to this look by applying some black eyeshadow just around my forehead and my cheekbone to create that contoured effect. So I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush like this and then I'm going to be taking my MUA eyeshadow palette and this is the Elysium palette. So just taking this dark shade here. And then I'm just taking the beauty blender which I used before to blend out the white just to blend in that black and that shadow a little bit more. And then I'm going to take some of the black shadow just underneath that white there to create more of a contoured effect on my cheekbones. So to do this I'm going to take a thinner brush this time just to make sure I get those cheekbones really chiselled and the way I want it and then I'll buff out with the bigger brush. So just taking the same eyeshadow as before and I'm just going to start from about here and then just blending it towards the centre of my face. And then taking that fluffy brush again, we're just going to gradually smoke that out. So obviously we're going to have to neaten up this contour here, so I'm going to apply some concealer just underneath here um, just to really make those cheekbones pop and stand out. So I'm going to be using this Kick-Ass Face Awake Concealer which is just a brightening concealer and I'm just going to whip this underneath that line there. So I'm just going to take this concealer brush here and just blend that out. And then taking my overall brush, I'm just going to buff that into my skin. So then going in again with this brush, I'm just going to smoke out that line so it's not so straight. So the next step following this is going to be our eyebrows. Now to create our eyebrows for this, I'm going to be using the Supercat Black Eyeliner Pen by Soap and Glory as well as the Anastasia Dip Brow just to create the shape I want to. And then I'm going to fill it in with this black eyeliner pen. Just taking an eyeliner brush here to apply this. And then we've got to try and repeat the same thing to the other eyebrows, so fingers crossed it all goes well. So 
So now that we've finished our eyebrows, the next step is to do our eyeshadow. And for this, I'm going to be using the same black eyeshadow as I did for my contour, using the same palette again. So I'm going to be taking this small eyeshadow brush here and then just applying this to the outer corner of my eyes and then smoking that towards the inner corner. So now I'm going to add a pop of colour to the centre of my lids. Today I'm going to be using the Body Collection eyeshadow palette from Argos, believe it or not. And I'm going to be taking this blue shade here. I'm just going to be taking this narrow brush here just to apply that to the centre of my eyes. And then I'm going to take that same brush I used for the dark and just blend that in together. So I'm going to quickly buff in that blue shade on the bottom of my lashes. So taking the same brush I used to apply my eyeshadow again and the same black eyeshadow from this palette, I'm just going to contour down my nose. Buffing that out, take away those harsh lines. So that is my witch's nose complete. So now we're going to apply a little bit more glam to this modern day witch look. So to do that we're going to apply some glitter which is always fun. Um, so I've picked up this really nice blue shade here and also this purple one here. So I'm going to apply this using Vaseline because I no longer have any glue. I'm just taking this really thin lip brush here. I'm going to start by the top of my forehead. So I'm going to do this in a web effect. So now to add some blue to this little web that I've created. So for the lips, I'm going to be applying this New Look Super Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Fawn. This is just a really nice purpley grey kind of shade and I just thought it would fit in with the look perfectly. So as I wait for my lips to dry, I'm going to be moving on to my eyeliner because obviously I haven't done it yet. The eyeliner I'm going to be using is this Sleek Dip It Eyeliner in the shade Black. Um, so I'm just going to apply that to the top of my lid. The mascara I'm going to be using for this look is going to be the Rimmel London Scandalize Reloaded Black Mascara. Just because this gives me a lot of volume and it's really thick and black. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm going to be drawing them on with the black eyeliner. Like that, and we're just going to repeat that step over and over again. And that is the first side complete, so now on to the other side. So that is the makeup complete. There's only one last touch to add to this and that is a black hat. This one here I picked up from New Look. Um, so this is gonna be the final touch to this makeup tutorial. So this concludes my witch Halloween costume and makeup idea. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. So if you enjoyed watching today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch further videos like this in the following weeks to come. And I'll see you all again in another video. Bye.